Hey there! In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a Prisma service that lets you talk to a MySQL database using GraphQL. This also works with Postgres or any other supported database. Later, you can use this Prisma service as the foundation to build your own GraphQL server. Let's get started! The first step is to install the Prisma CLI, which you can do with npm or yarn. Once the CLI is installed, you can run the interactive Prisma init command, which will prompt you with a few questions to account for your specific use case. The fastest way to get started by, is by using a Prisma demo server, which is hosted in the Prisma cloud. For this video, however, I want to use a server with my own database, so I'm selecting the option to set up a new database and MySQL as the database type. The Prisma CLI now created three files for me, so let's inspect them. The Docker Compose file contains two Docker images. The first one is the one for the Prisma server. Down here, it specifies the Prisma config environment variable, which contains the information that tells Prisma how to connect to my database. If I already had a database, I could replace the values for the port, the host, the user and the password with the ones for my own database. The second Docker image represents the MySQL database which I'm using for local development. To start the Docker containers for these images, I need to run the docker compose up command in my terminal. Once the containers are running, I can start deploying my Prisma services. The other two files that were created by Prisma init configure my Prisma service. They define the actual GraphQL API I will be working with later. Prisma YAML specifies the endpoint of the API and needs to match the URL of the Prisma server which I deployed with Docker. The second property, data model, points to, you guessed it, the data model for my GraphQL API. Prisma uses the types in my data model to generate a GraphQL API that exposes powerful CRUD operations, so in this case I will be able to create, read, update and delete records of the user type through GraphQL. To use this GraphQL CRUD API, I need to deploy the Prisma service. To do so, all I need to do is run the Prisma deploy command. After the service was deployed, I can explore the API in a GraphQL playground and send queries and mutations to read and write data against the underlying MySQL database. To open the playground, I run the Prisma Playground command. Notice the auto-generated API documentation that shows all API operations I can send to Prisma's GraphQL API. Let's send a mutation to create a new user in the database. After the mutation was sent, we can query the list of all users and we'll see that the new user record is being returned by the services API. The last thing I want to show in this video is how you can make changes to your data model, which in turn updates Prisma's GraphQL API and migrates the underlying database schema. Here I'm adding a new type called post that will have a relation to the user type via the author field in my data model. To update the API of the running Prisma service, I run Prisma deploy again. Prisma now takes care of performing the database migration and updating the schema for Prisma's GraphQL API with CRUD operations for my new post type. Heading back to the playground, the auto-generated documentation now shows the additional operations for the new post type. To learn how you can now build a GraphQL server with a customized API that uses this Prisma service as a data access layer, check out the tutorial section in our documentation.